For what says Quinnaplus? Better a witty fool than a foolish wit. God bless thee, Madonna. Take the fool away. Do you not hear, fellows? Take away the lady. Go to, you're a dry fool. I'll know more of you. Besides, you grow dishonest. Do false, Madonna. That drink and good counsel will amend. Because it's a world where music is everywhere. Um, and uh, it's a world where cruelty is everywhere as well. Um, Shakespeare wrote when there was no welfare state, there was no safety net where um, uh, cruelty and was was casual and life was was cheap really um, and so there is a dark heart to the play um, characters like Feste who's a, basically a, a begging street performer um, you know has to to please in order to live and if he doesn't please his betters he's cast out into the street um, he's threatened with a hanging at one point a flogging at another um, the servants are at the centre of the play there's a real servants domestic drama in, in Twelfth Night and they too um, treat each other with a lot of cruelty. There's a lot of fighting for the pole position. Um, and rather than setting all of that in a sort of imaginary world, I wanted to set it in a place where, where that was real, where that was true. Forgive the dry fool drink, then is the fool not dry? Bid the dishonest man mend himself. If he mends, then he is not dishonest. Well, for me to begin with, I'm not as well versed with Shakespeare as everybody here. I mean, everyone is so well versed with it, they've studied it. I think it's very much part and parcel of your upbringing, school, everything. Um, in India, in some schools we do have Shakespeare, but where I, where I was, we didn't have Shakespeare. I never studied it, I wasn't very familiar with the text. So yes, that was a big thing, you know, getting into it. Um, but it was great because it was challenging, it was different, and I love a challenge. I love to do things that are different. Um, and uh, I think the way we approached it was, yes, giving a lot of significance to the text because it's, you know, he, he writes, his words are beautiful, but it's also making it your own, making it your own, being comfortable, and uh, that was an interesting process. Can you do it? Dexterously, good Madonna. Make your proof. I must catechize you for it, Madonna. Good my mouse of virtue, answer me. Well, sir, for want of other idleness, I'll bite your proof. Good Madonna, why mournest thou? <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's Hollywood or Bollywood or French or Bengali or English or a parallel film or a commercial film, the genre film doesn't matter. It's just, for me, that script and that role should work. And if it works, then I want to do it. You know, I'm not, a, there's no, I want to do this or I want to do that. Um, as of now, I'm very much enjoying the work that I'm doing in Bollywood because it's not mainstream commercial sort of work, which I don't have anything against, but it's just that there is a whole new stream of cinema that's opening up. You know, it's a shift towards realism. There is that alternative independent cinema that's coming up, which is predominantly what I'm doing, um, which I'm enjoying very much. Come here, good boy. If ever thou shalt love, in the sweet bangs of it, remember me. For such as I am, all true lovers are. Unstayed and skittish in all motions else save in the constant image of the creature that is beloved. How dost thou like this tune? It gives a very echo to the seat where love is throned. Twelfth Night wasn't a play I knew particularly well. I'd seen quite a few productions of it. It wasn't a play that I'd particularly studied or, or performed in before. Um, uh, but this setting that Stephen came up with, his vision, this, this idea of his setting in India, was really something that, that moved the play into a whole new, new area for me. You know, there's so many productions around at the moment which are kind of appropriating India. You know, it's fashionable at the moment, and Bollywood's fashionable, all that stuff, so people want to know, ah, oh, pretty saris, you know, some rain on the stage, all that. But the play has a heart that Stephen's given it, and, and it, it's, it's, it's uh, to me, anyway, to me, it's, it's given a new life by it being set in India. You know, this is a world we all understand and we can connect with far more because of the characters that we see on stage, you know, far more than if people were wandering around in ruffs or doublet and hose, really, to me. Thou dost speak masterly. 
My life upon it, young though thou art, thine eye hath stayed upon some favour that it loves, hath it not, boy? A little, by your favour. And what kind of woman is it? Of your complexion. Oh, she's not worth thee, then. What years, your faith? About your years, my lord. Too old, by heaven. Let still the woman take an elder than herself. So wears she to him, so sways she level in her husband's heart. For, boy, however we do praise ourselves, our fancies are more giddy and unfirm, more longing, wavering, sooner lost and worn than women's are. I think it well, my lord. And let thy love be younger than thyself, for thy affection cannot hold the bent. For women are as roses, whose fair flower being once displayed doth fall that very hour. And so they are. Alas, that they are so, to die even when they to perfection grow. 